Application of GIS in Christian agriculture or Christian farming. Uh, before going to the actual topic, uh, we have to know where we are using uh, some technology, let's say GIS, where we are using it, why we are using it, and how can we use it. So, uh, the presentation uh, flow will be like uh, what is Christian farming? How can uh, it help uh, Indian farmers or the, the farming community in general? and how GIS is uh, applied in Christian farming then we will uh, discuss some of the challenges in adopting these technologies then we will conclude to start off with firstly what is Christian farming Christian farming is nothing but it's a concept that utilizes geographical information to determine field variability to ensure optimal use of inputs and maximize the output from a farm Traditional farming helps the Indian community, uh, Indian farming community to sustainable farming economy by higher yield per acre and reduce the need for expensive and limited resources with an objective of increasing the production efficiency and quality and more efficient use of chemicals and energy conservation, most importantly soil and groundwater production. And advantages of uh, practicing this uh, Christian farming are the uneven lands can be subdivided into small plots according to the specific requirements as you can see in the image. The better resource management uh, reduces the cost of production and maximizes the profit. Effective utilization of agricultural inputs that is called smart planning and enhance the agricultural production that is called smart control. and Minimize the risk to the environment and that is environmental pollution is reduced by smart monitoring of the farm. Then some of the uh, drawbacks we can say there is high capital costs and it may take several years before you can uh, have a sufficient data to fully implement the system into a farm. The techniques are still under development and requires prior knowledge before implementation. And it's quite difficult task to collect and analyze the data of a particular farm or a field to analyze its variability and apply that technology. Then some of the technologies that are being used in the Christian farming are remote sensing, GPS, GIS and variable rate of cattle like uh, some remotely controlled machines. So we are interested in application of GIS in this particular Christian farming. So, what is GIS? GIS is nothing but a, the system designed to capture, store, analyze, manage, and present the spatial data. Its components we know that the hardware, software, applications, data, and people. Uh, uh, earlier, I told that uh, to apply a uh, particular technology in the precision farming, we need a prior database to analyze the uh, features of the plot or the farm uh, to get the exact. Uh, perception about that field. That is, the source of database for Christian farming generally includes crop information such as growth stages, health, nutrient requirement, then soil physical and chemical properties like soil depth, texture, nutrient status, salinity and toxicity, soil temperature, productivity and product productivity potentials, then microclimatic data such as canopy temperature, wind direction, wind speed and humidity, then sub uh, surface and subsurface drainage conditions, then irrigation facilities that are and water availability and planning of other inputs. Now we will see how exactly this technology that GIS is being applied in the Christian farming to get the most of out of the our farming. Firstly, division of land into different management zones based on the soil properties, weather, pest or disease incidents, etc. Then collection of data using the remote sensing and GPS. Then the, this data is georeferenced into a GIS database. Storing and analyzing of this point data and conversion of this point data into a spatial data. Then spatial data is being used for uh, to consider the uh, possible problems in the various management zones that you can see in the picture in the first picture. 
Then the JS software can be used to transform spatial information into digital map. That is in the second picture you can see the JS software. We are using the JS software. The spatial data is converted into a digital map. Then comparison of the result uh, that are present in the field at the uh, and at this point an area that has low medium high nutrient content or a region with best incident decisions are being identified then adoption of favorable management techniques to increase the efficiency of the farm to simplify this uh, process uh, here is a flow chart that is first is data collection then the data is stored in the information management system then the information we obtain will be analyzed and diagnosed and then the knowledge gained by analyzing these data are being used in the decision making process which gives the wisdom of implementing this technology to a particular form or a field that which uh, optimizes the resource management system then uh, even though the the technology is uh, good and more efficient uh, Indian farmers are facing some of challenges adopting this uh, uh, precision farming technology those are uh, pattern of land only that's we know we know that uh, our farmers are marginal small and marginal farmers having a fragmented lands maybe uh, I don't see impossible but it is difficult task to apply these precision farming techniques and technologies to a fragmented land and more number of research or mm -hmm. modifications are required to adopt these situations then poor infrastructure particular facilities for uh, uh, sophisticated instruments and also implements lack of farmers inclination to the take the risk and poor socio uh, social and economical condition of the farmer then uh, to conclude Rapid socio-economic changes such as economic growth, urbanization, and energy consumption are, are creating new opportunities for the application of precision farming in India. So, instead of blindly adopting the technology, as like in developed countries, Indian farmers should adopt the technology based on their requirement, based on their farm's requirement, and also the social economic conditions. In the last but not least, uh, actually this is apart from uh, the actual presentation topic that is uh, you see this image this image is actually a representation of a video game that is called a uh, farming simulator whatever the technology i told earlier and whatever the technology is being used in precision farming are all uh, all those technologies are included in this game that is why i'm telling you this uh, the modern day agri agriculture implements are the technologies which were which the de developed countries are being used the that is the uh, for example Mm, the implements such as uh, uh, fertilizer applier or the harvester those are remotely controlled that are being uh, that are represented in that video game and also the the GS technology that is uh, analyzing the soil fertility or the pest incidence disease incidence those all things uh, have been um, included in that uh, video game uh, if you are interested you can try it out and thank you